Hey guys, it's time. All right, I finished reading Tower of Dawn this morning, and I'm all ready to dive into Kingdom of Ash. <sighs> Stop that, Mama! <laughs> Quit. Leave my bookmark alone. Cat decided to be in my bookmark. I went out and bought a brand new, big old set of tabs for the book because I just recently changed my tabbing color system so I needed more colors anyways it just so happens that I'm probably going to use a lot of these in this book but yeah this is going to be a like spoilery reaction type vlog for this book so I will put like a little warning on the screen somewhere whenever I'm going to talk about spoilers that way if you want to watch but don't want to be spoiled you can still do so um but yeah, I'm really excited, I'm really nervous, and I'm really hoping that nobody's going to die. So, I'm going to jump in, and I will update you guys in a little bit. sounding funny I am super sick but this is like the only chance I'm gonna have to like actually finish reading the book and like tell you guys my thoughts I haven't been vlogging as I've been reading because I've been reading when I have the chance um, working two jobs I've just been super busy and I haven't had a whole lot of time to read which is why it's taken me almost a month to finish this thing but I am on page 830 of 980 so almost done in the home stretch um I did just want to take some time to talk about the tabs that I have in here because I do have some tabs and not nearly as much as I thought I was going to put in the book but a decent amount nonetheless um I finally worked out my color system so I will just explain the tabs as I'm talking about it. I haven't shared like specifics about anything but um and this is where things are gonna get spoilery so big warning on the screen here <clears throat> if you don't want to be spoiled click off now don't watch the rest of this video because I'm gonna be sharing everything so there's your warning um Kale is gonna be a dad like what I kind of like squealed a little bit when that was revealed because I was so excited. Um, my thoughts on Kale changed throughout the series and I love him now. Like my love for him is back full force. Um, and I love Yorin. She's such a great character. She's so sweet and I just love her. And then Aelin, they finally got Aelin back. Like poor Aelin. She went through so much. And then, oh my god, the big reveal of all that Maeve is, is actually, like, a Valg queen. Like, what? I never saw that coming. <clears throat> um, I do have one, I haven't found, I haven't found very many quotes 
that I have wanted to mark. Um, but let me just turn you around here and show you. This is the quote they liked. Remember that this fear of yours, it means you have something worth fighting for, something you care so greatly for that losing it is the worst thing you can imagine. I just love that quote so much, and I just had to put a tab there. And then my first death tab was surprisingly far into it. It was on page 751. Also, I thought they were going to kill Abraxas, and I was devastated. For like 20 pages, I was devastated because... They can't kill him. You can't kill him off, Sarah. You just can't do it. But my first death tab is, um, like I said, page 71, when Manon's 13 sacrifice themselves to save Manon and Abraxos and Adian and, like, all of them. <sighs> I was so sad when that happened. I really wanted Manon and her 13 to get a happy ending, but the 13 aren't going to have one. And then my second and the only other death tab so far is uh, when Murtok dies. I didn't really care about him all that much, but I was sad for Rin, who is very sad. So, yeah, and then... Lysandra and Adian, I hope that they, like, quit being stupid and actually just admit that they love each other and get back to being together because this is ridiculous. And the same thing with Dorian and Manon, like, get together already. Um, let's see what else. Hmm, the word gate being closed the way that that went down was insane um I kind of wish it had went down a different way like why would you not get rid of Erwin when you had the chance that just doesn't make sense to me but I am going to finish reading I am hoping to pull out a long stretch here and just finish it I have less than 200 pages to go so fingers crossed that I can finish this in a little bit maybe a couple hours but yeah I will update you guys when I have more thoughts I just finished reading Kingdom of Ash that is the single best finale book I have ever read I was sobbing almost the whole entire last like 100 pages it was so good it things ended so well there were a couple of deaths, but they weren't the deaths that I was expecting to happen. Thank God none of our, like, core got killed. <laughs> Which, I don't know how I feel about It's like, okay, how much of an impact would that death actually have on the story? None, not really. But, everything was so nice and so well written. The battle scenes had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. I loved it so much. I think this is probably my favorite book of the entire year. And oh, I'm very, very sad that this series is over now and that we're not going to have any more from this world and with these characters. I'm super excited to read whatever else Sarah J. Mass puts out in the future because her writing is phenomenal and I love everything of hers that I've read. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to pop on and share a little bit of my final thoughts. Um, that's going to be it for my Kingdom of Ash reading vlog. Uh, this behemoth of a book is done. It's finished. It took me almost a month to read it, but that's okay. It was phenomenal, and I loved every second of it. If you've read this, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on it are, but please keep your comments spoiler free because, you know, I don't want anything to be spoiled in the comments, even though there will be spoiler warnings on the video. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of it. 
and if you liked how things ended up playing out. But that's going to be it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!